Okay. Itam exists. It's a good day. It is about almost 4.30 in the afternoon on Saturday, April 29th, 2023, in the last winter lunar cycle, Matsi Kapeseki Sumna Frog Moon. Of course, you wouldn't know that we're still in a winter lunar cycle by the temperatures today. It is currently 25 degrees Celsius by the reading on my on my vehicle. I mean, we, we flip-flopped from last week, minus 10 and uh, even colder, to now 25 degrees Celsius. That's a huge temperature variation in, in, a, in a week, but that's Alberta. And that's why we got just a, a summer and a winter uh, series of lunar cycles. Any case, I am on my way to the west side to deal with my first rattlesnake call of the season. Um, this one's coming from Stonecrest Point in Riverstone, where I showed on my video yesterday, there is a very healthy rattlesnake population, as there is throughout most of the west side of the city of Lethbridge, Alberta. In any case, we are headed to Riverstone. See if we can find us a rattlesnake. Hey, buddy. Angry girl. Angry? Yeah. Oh, she's not happy. Yeah, sorry I didn't show more of what was going on at the scene back there uh, as I arrived and stuff. For whatever reason, this camera that I normally use on the tripod here is um, it was on a it was on the wrong mode or something. It wasn't filming, so I had to quickly take out my iPhone out of my pocket and and uh, just start using that with one hand while I work the snake just so you can get footage or you can see the footage um, looking across the way here that's the kind of snaky area over here lots of den locations and um, pretty much all over that eroded slope you know and so I think she came from there uh, it's a big female. I'm going to take her further out in the coulee. Like, I should take her right to the den and drop her off right there. But if she's just come up from the den, that seems... Uh, why why do that? She's got a whole season ahead of her. She'll be okay from here out. And I'm not going to move her outside of her... Um, outside of her den territory or anything. But I figure it's best to take her a little ways out from the houses. Like those folks were saying she was awfully close to ended up playing in the Tonka trucks back there. And so, you know, for the next few weeks, hopefully I'll get the word out. I've started, I did a, a newscast, a couple of news programs the other day. I put out that video yesterday of the surveys of snakes out here. I put out a photograph of how close some of those dens can be to the homes. And uh, now I'll put out this video tonight. Hopefully people get the picture that it's time to pay attention for the next few weeks. Make sure that you don't inadvertently bump into a snake. Because the snake is not after, out to get you. But if you, if you run into it and its life is threatened because you're stepping on it, you know, or close enough there too, you're going to get zapped. And you don't want to get zapped by these guys that are just first out of the dens because for the winter, because right now their, their venom is pretty, pretty high toxicity. So anyway, we'll walk down here a little ways and let her go. So this girl is 
quite agitated or has been on the walk down. She struck about four times against the side of the bucket. I could feel her striking. She's just starting to calm down now, but I'm going to take her out and that's going to be the end of that. She's got really uh, perfect markings for individuating her, I'll be able to compare her pretty easily against the photo database uh, when I get around to doing so. So we'll know if we've seen her again. Big fat female, probably on her way to a rookery. And maybe one that doesn't even exist anymore uh, inside that neighborhood. Something that's been built over. But that's where she knows to go. Come here, girl. Come here, girl. She's a big one. She's a big girl. Yeah. Yeah, you are. Whoop. She's a big girl. Up close and personal. So angry. There we go. Calming down. She's got beautiful territory. <laughs> First snake of the year. I wonder if that's a sign. I, I don't think I've ever got one this early. I wonder if it's going to be a busy, busy year. We'll see.